Hey, what can I do for you? Wait, Vicky? Is that you? Yeah, hey son. Damn, blast from the past. What brings you to the tombs? Oh, you know, stuff. <laughs> sure, I get it. I know all about stuff. Uh, yeah, I used to babysit her kid brother. How is Donnie doing these days anyway? Good. He just made uniform. No kidding. He was always a good kid. Yeah, still is. This is the tombs, dude. Weird is our bread and butter. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. Who doesn't? It's not exactly a secret. The couple that runs the place was shot to death by their kid. Jesus. It's insane, right? The dragon tree has been around for 60 years. Now this happens. Shame. Their pecking duck was kind of amazing. There anything else you can tell us? Maybe something that was left out of the public record? Um, just why are you asking? We're looking into what happened. Under whose authority? Uh, what do you mean? Come on, Vicky. The case is closed and you're not a cop anymore. So who are you looking into it for? I can't tell you that. Sorry. Sorry. The case is closed as far as the cops are concerned. Like I said, the case is closed. As far as the department is concerned, there's nothing to tell. Yeah, see you. And hey, Vicky? Yeah? Glad you're doing okay. Yeah, sure. Right back at ya. Hey, Vicky. You still hanging out at Vinny's? Yeah, living there. <laughs> you and every cop on Staten Island. No, I'm, um, actually living there. In the basement. Oh. Yeah. See you. Um, the exit's the other way? Detective Santina, I cannot help but notice your fingers. They... twitch. Twitch? Yes, toward your firearm. Are you on edge? Of course I'm on edge. Keeps me sharp. Lowers reaction time. Sometimes that extra second or two makes all the difference. Uh, so it is by design. Interesting. What can I say? I like not getting killed. Whatever our business. <sighs> what? You want to eat something? I'm here. So, Santina, I hear you're a civilian now? Kinda. Don't tell me you've gone private. Kinda. Right, right. None of my business. Like I said. Eh, whatever. Hey, you guys need anything? Yeah, why? Do you know what happened there? Um, yeah, it was like three months ago. You guys with the police? Because I've already been grilled by them like a dozen times. We're not cops, just concerned citizens. Something hinky went down here and we're trying to figure out what. Huh, I knew it. I friggin' knew it. There's no way it happened the way they said it did. Back at ya.
So, son, they got you writing a desk these days? They have nothing to do with it. I asked for it. You asked for it? Why? You've been outside lately? I'm sick of getting soaked on patrol. It's not terribly exciting in here, but it's dry. Like I said, the case is closed. As far as the department is concerned, there's nothing to tell. Yeah, see you. I have nothing to say. I'll let you do the talking. I still think it's crazy you carry a sword of all things. I admit it is not very... modern, but it has served me well for centuries. You never thought of upgrading to something more long-range? Like your pistol? No. Such a weapon is too unpredictable. Not if you know what you're doing. Hmm. Perhaps one day you can teach me. Sure. But only if you let me swing that sword around. One does not swing it around. But I agree to your terms. It's a date then. Um, no, I ain't climbing that. Um, no, I ain't climbing that. Uh, yeah, the bullet just went right through the lantern. Um, no. There is something in here. Some kind of paper. So what is it? See for yourself. It's a lottery ticket. I guess he needed cash? Perhaps, but this ticket was deliberately dropped. Yeah, that's the bit that don't make sense. We know more than we did before, at any rate. Let us press on. I fail to see how... So, Mandana, you Jins can really tell if someone is lying? Yes, nor can we lie ourselves. Must be rough sometimes. Not especially. It forces most Jinns to become clever with words. Most, but not all? Being clever is overrated. Hey, looks like you bought a lotto ticket from us. Is there a problem? Sure, I can do that. The paper looks a bit weather-worn, but the barcode should work. Huh? That's impossible. No way! Here, take it back. Is there a problem? No, but Kevin Huang bought this ticket. You heard about him, right? 
and the stuff that happened at the dragon tree? They said that Kevin Huang killed his parents. Shot them, I think. That's what they're saying, but I never believed it. Why not? Because I know Kevin. I know his whole family. He wouldn't do anything, so... He just wouldn't do it, is all. Well, yeah, the Huangs run the Dragon Tree restaurant. Or, um, ran it, I mean. Our families did business together for like 50 years. Mr. Huang bought all his raw ingredients from us. I don't want to brag, but we're the reason the restaurant was so popular. But I practically grew up with Kevin. He wouldn't do this. I, I didn't believe it then. I don't believe it now. Because he adores his mom and dad. He practically worships them. Plus, he's a colossal wimp. He's ten times smarter than me, but the kid wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone his parents. Back at ya. Hey folks. Hey Vicky. Hey son. Yeah, he's here. Can we talk to him? Are any of you on the approved visitor list? No, but does that matter? Kevin is... Look, I don't know all the details, but his files say he's under special observation due to psychological problems. His visitors are closely monitored. You need to be on an approved list before you can see him. Sorry. Really, son? You'd pull this shit with me? Ain't nothing personal, Vicky. You know that. Well, if you like, I can submit a request. It needs to be approved by the Psyche Val Board. That can take weeks. The only way is to have a ranking officer vouch for you. Ranking meaning detective or higher. Fine. Call my big brother Mitch. Yeah. I go to the warden with that and he'll laugh me out of his office after he fires me. Get a ranking officer who isn't a blood relative to vouch for you. Otherwise, I can't help you. Yeah. See you. Uh huh. Not much. I know he's locked up in the tombs for killing his parents. From what I hear, the case is open and shut. So, go and speak to him. You know how this works, Sam. We need authorization. So, go get it. That could take weeks. And even then, they might reject us. Can't you, you know, speed up the process for us? Look, Santina, I can't play favorites, and you know it. Unless you can give me good reason why you need to see the kid, then I can't help you. Like I said, eh, whatever. What? Stuff I don't want to talk about while people are eating. You want to eat something? I'm here. Hey, you guys need anything? Back at ya.
Uh huh. Like I said, I can't help you. Not unless you can give me a good reason. Eh, whatever. Huh. Well, it could be you, I guess. You ask me, you wasted your money. Uh huh. Eh, whatever. Hey, you guys need anything? Back at ya. What? You wanna eat something? I'm here. I'll let you do the. I have nothing to say. I have. N uh huh. Like I said. Like I said. Yeah. Whatever. Hey folks! Hey Vicky! Hey son! Like I said, submit a request and an officer who- Did I say any- Like I said. Yeah, see- Back at ya. Don't look like those numbers match. Don't know why you think they would either. No fucking way! A winning lottery ticket? Indeed. For the $50,000 jackpot. A shame we cannot keep it. I wasn't gonna say we should, that's fraud. There is that. And it would also attract... attention. Yeah. Picture in the paper with a giant check? We don't need that crap. If we are being technical, you did not actually purchase the ticket. But we are making too many assumptions. We need to learn why this ticket was purchased in the first place. Uh huh. Like I said, I. Eh. Huh. Well, it could be you, I guess. You asked me, you wasted your money. For real? It is the truth. But that's Kevin's ticket, right? I mean, I checked the system. He definitely bought it. That is also the truth. Right. The ticket's registered to Kevin, not you. So don't even think about cashing it in. Don't worry. As far as I'm concerned, this ticket is just a piece of evidence. Hmm. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, does it? I mean, who the hell does that? Win the lottery and then commit murder? That's crazy. It doesn't prove anything. Not yet. Doesn't matter. I knew it. Kevin's innocent. Whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it. Back at ya.
Uh-huh. He did, huh? Yeah. Fifty grand. That's not chump change, I'll say that much. But it's weird, isn't it? He wins the lottery, then kills his parents. I don't see what this has to do with me. It's new evidence. Something we should ask the suspect about. We? There's no we here. There's not even a me. This isn't my case. The case is closed. Him winning the lottery doesn't have to do with anything. Sorry, I can't help you. Jesus, Durkin. My dad thinks you hung the moon. He never told me you were this... This what? Nothing. Forget it. You mean Wing and Kevin? Looks like it. Lucky. I may not know a lot about statistics, but it's definitely more than luck. They won ten years apart from each other. You're telling me they're related? Wing and Kevin didn't just win two different lottery draws. They both won the same $50,000 prize. I don't see the problem here. Look, there's a lot of fraud in the state lottery. You know that, Sam. They've got a whole department that deals with it. The point, Santina. Get to it. My point, Sam, is if this gets out, it's gonna make waves. Waves on a federal level. Jesus. You really want the FBI storming through here? No! I did nothing wrong. You are telling the truth. <sighs> Does anybody else know that Kevin bought that lottery ticket? Damn it. But I suppose it doesn't matter who knows. You came to this conclusion. Somebody else will too. Without a doubt. It would be best if we got to the bottom of the mystery before that happens. And you can do that by talking to Kevin? It's worth a shot. <sighs> Nothing's ever straightforward, is it? Okay, I'll call the tombs. Tell them you're clear to talk to Kevin. But if you blab to the press, or the lotto board, or anyone... Jesus, Sam. You forget who you're talking to? Fine. Now get out of here.